Scott County is hitting the brakes on its phase of reopening. The health department announced this morning that the county will stay in phase one for now after looking at COVID-19 data. The pause was determined after a number of things, including 33% of new COVID cases were not linked to a known source, meaning there's potential for increased community spread. There were more new cases in Sauk County over the past 14 days than the threshold set to move forward into phase two and not enough tests were conducted to have a good sense of the risk and spread of the virus in the county. Health officials say they will look at the data again and make an announcement about whether they're ready to move into phase two on June 15th. Right now, it's been two weeks since Dane County entered phase one. That means phase two is next, but Public Health Madison Dane County said there are a few things that need to happen before Dane County can get there. In the county, most of the key criteria are in green, but cases per day and community spread metrics are still in yellow. Local health officials say they need to take a couple of days to dig into the data. UW health officials say given recent events, it could be especially wise to take a conservative approach in deciding whether to reopen more of the county. I think it'll be interesting to see uh, Memorial Day where uh, it seems like a lot of people are out. Um, we'll be seeing that if that has an impact pretty soon. Uh, and then I think there could be some hesitancy uh, of opening things up with all the protests uh, because uh, we might open things up just in time for uh, cases to start to surge. In order to get to green in cases per day, there would need to be fewer than four new cases a day. For community spread, officials say we're still trying to get to where more than 80% of people who test positive know where they caught the virus from.